I started losing my hair in my early 30s. And it's, it's really hard to, as a, I mean, with my genetics, it's very, very hard for me to maintain hair. So I've had to work very hard at it. What is hair loss anyway? Why does our hair recede? What's going on? It is, and it doesn't happen in women. Yeah, I know. You, you, Typically. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really quite annoying that it's such a big problem. I wish I didn't have to pay attention to it as much as I do. Why? Uh, it just requires constant attention. And it's, it's a, the technology is not that great yet. You know, like you're, you're basically trying to slow the process. You're trying to improve follicle strength. You're trying to prevent future damage, but it's not like something like it, like a gene therapy where I, with two injections, I, your levels go up three or four X my, the production of that critical, uh, biochemical in my body. Uh, it's not the case. There's, now there's technology people are working on for cloning. So you take a few of your follicles, you clone that and you re you put them in. So basically like doing a, a hair transplant, but you're cloning, you're doing your own, your own hair. So there's other technologies that are emergent that are promising. They're just not on market yet. So yeah, it, it's, it's hard. And it's like being as a man, being bald is a meaningful thing. Right, mm -hmm. like it's, it's a significant psychological situation. So, like if you look, if you take through the issues of be of like a man would really struggle with psychologically, you know, being bald, not being able to have erections, like those those are like two of your top five things. And so, as you know, I hope that the things I talk about publicly help break the stigma around it, so that uh, people feel hope they can do something about it. They don't have to hide it. It's it's challenging and it's heavy to deal with it. Your hair looks like it's changed as well since we last spoke. Mm. You look like you've got a fuller head of hair. Mm. What's what's been going on there? the The protocol I have is I do uh, platelet rich plasma every thirty to sixty days. So that that is the process where you draw blood from a vein, you spin it up, and you separate the blood from the plasma. You take the plasma, and then we add a cell and dutasteride. So it's a concoction of plasma, A-cell, dutasteride. And it's a total volume of between 13 and 15 milliliters. And then it's injected across the entire head or in the areas that would be balding. And then I also do red light therapy daily, which we spoke about, mm. uh, wear that cap for six minutes. And then I have a nightly concoction that includes a few things like minoxidil and a few others. This is all on my website. So the the recipe, the protocol, it's all there for everybody. Sexual health and sexlessness and relationships yeah. and libido are actually a really big topic at the moment for a lot of people. I, I've been in relationships where there's been libido issues and things like that. And I've got friends that have yeah. got libido issues and sexual health issues and things like that. So it, it we, we joke about it, but they're, it's not a joke for a lot of people and yeah. it can lead to relationships breaking down and families breaking down. And yeah. so I, I don't, I do think it's a serious topic. Yeah. I brought you two things today. Okay. One, I, I brought you a test. Okay. What is it? This test. Okay. That's the test. It's your speed of aging test. Oh shit. So you should, <laughs> everybody should know three things, you know, how much you weigh, how fast you're aging mm -hmm. and the duration of your nighttime erections. Is that what the other thing That's is? That's the other device. Oh, shit. So we Did basically, really yep. Yeah, so both these are going to give you a good baseline with where you're at in life. So how do I, how do I do, how do I do this? Is I can, this I can administer, oh wait, yeah. I can administer that test for you if you want. So I, what it requires is we'll prick your finger. Yeah. Get a little blood. Yeah. Put it on the card, yeah, and then we'll send it to the processing to the to, to the um, the center where they're going to process it, and you'll get your results back. And it will tell you how fast your aging clock is internally. How does it know that from a prick of blood? Uh, because your body leaves chemical signatures that reveal the data. Okay, and then I can reverse that, presumably. Yes, you. But Yes, exactly. So if you, let's say you get a result back and let's just say it's one. So you're aging like a normal person would, average person. You could potentially slow your speed of aging 
to 0.6, which means while all of your friends are aging at a normal rate, you would get September, October, November, and December for free. I'd love that. Yeah. How? Olive oil, go sleep, exercise, a good diet. Don't it's smoke. It's the basic stuff. The basic stuff. stuff. And what is this other contraption that you've given That you is me? how you can measure your nighttime erections. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where am I going to put that? Yeah, so you, you put it on your shaft and just gently, yeah, there you go. Gently pull that. And so you put, there you go. Put it on the mic. Yeah. There Mine's a little bit bigger. I need to, have you got a, <laughs> you have a bigger one? <laughs> yep. And then you put it on the, on the base and yeah. you put it on and you, th you think, you presume that it's going to be an irritation. It's going to bother you. You're going to feel it. Once you put it on and you go to sleep, you can't feel it. You don't and know. What does it do? Like vibrate in the night or something? So yeah, <laughs> no, so there's no vibration, but mm. you, you have erections throughout the night. Yeah. And when you come erect, it, the expansion of your penis will be captured by that device and it will show how many erections you had and for what duration and what strength. And I, I've got you. So you put your, you put your, you go to sleep, you put your penis inside it like, like that. And then when you have an erection during the night, it'll expand and log it. Yes. And it'll keep logging every time you have an erection in the night. That's right. And then we'll tell you, you had four erections tonight that, during that duration of sleep. They were 47 minutes, 31 minutes, 55 minutes, and whatever. And of this strain, of this quality of erection type. And then this data, it, it's really important because it represents psychological health, sexual health, uh, cardiovascular health. It is basically, people are not familiar yeah, you can go to the gym and build big biceps or whatever, but people are not familiar that nighttime erections are actually a meaningful health indicator. And so you've been me measuring your nighttime erections. I have. And what have you found out and how have you been able to improve it? Yeah, my, my average right now is two hours and 12 minutes. So you're erect at night for two hours and 12 minutes? Yes. What, but, are, you, uh, what are you dreaming about? <laughs> for, so the thing is, we're not aware of our erections most of the time. And so uh, my, my current erection amount is equal to roughly my chronological age. For me to be equal to an 18-year-old, I would need three hours and 30 minutes Interesting. of nighttime erections. So that's the goal we're trying to achieve is, is we're basically, I mean, no one's ever done this before. We're trying to figure out, can you improve nighttime erection? Do you put this on your penis every night? No, just in, I'll do it three to five days in a row. So most, most nights of the week, you'll put this on your penis. I'm sorry. So I'll do, for example, in like... Oh, okay. Like in for a, one month. Yeah. Okay, okay, in like, in in like month. a month okay. or two months, okay. I'll do it like three to five. And it depends on what therapies we're doing. And so I, what I coupled up with that is uh, we're trying to... <laughs> Come on, Brian, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing with it. It's just interesting. Yeah. Uh, I coupled this up with shock, uh, focused shockwave therapy. And so there's this technology, you have a wand and you sit in a chair and then the, the technician uses the wand and basically shocks your penis through, through the acoustic technology. And it's like, it does the same thing as workouts doing where you're creating micro injuries. So then it rebuilds. And so this technology is used for uh, all over the entire body. If you're trying to heal uh, an ACL or you're trying to rejuvenate the knees, uh, the joints, shoulders. So it's a technology that has a broad range of applications. It's also used for like, erectile dysfunction. So while my scores are, I have no sexual dysfunction. I'm, I score perfect in every category. We're wondering if you take this therapy, this focus shock with therapy, and if it will just basically rejuvenate the penis and increase nighttime erections. Is there any early evidence that that's working? Uh, yes, I've been shocked by the results. I'm now two months in. It's <laughs> my subjective experience is it's, it's as if my penis has gotten like 15 years younger. So we're, we're still in the early stages. We still need to measure. We need data before we're going to believe anything subjectively. I'm in. <laughs> when you say when you say a shock, do you, do, you, do you mean a painful shock, or is it like a you know like a the kind of shock you you pay for? 
<laughs> like a, like a pleasant, Tell me more. <laughs> is it like a nice feeling? Is it like a vibration or is it like a... Uh, is it painful? It's painful. Yeah. Oh, you, you need to be focused. Uh, like you need to do pain management. Yeah. It's, it's Interesting. Um, it's, unple- it's, uh, it's like uh, maybe a seven out of 10. But then once you get to the tip, it's like... Oh an, no, they've got to suck the whole thing. Yeah. It's like a nine out of 10. Because you the tip you have improved sensitivity. So it, it generates, in addition to what we're trying to do with the nighttime erections, it also improves um, erection strength and orgasm pleasurability. So it has all kinds of benefits. I'm trying to figure out physiologically what's going on there. So you shock the penis, you give a big electric shock to the penis, and then it rebuilds like a muscle would. Yes. And that causes it to be more effective going forward. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a, a yeah, acoustic technology, so it's not like an electrical shock. I this kind of brings, I guess, this brings me in part to the thing you use on your abs, the twenty k mm-hmm. setup machine thing. Yeah. I I when I was younger in my house, I think my mum bought it in a catalogue. She had one of those machines that she put on her abdomen, and it gave her an electric shock, mm-hmm. like uh, and it like kind of vibrated. And I just always thought it was BS. Yeah, I thought the whole industry was just BS people feel like it's doing something so they think they're going to get abs but you've got like a really extensive impressive machine that does a similar thing Mm -hmm. yeah using electromagnetic uh, frequency yeah and it works it does how do you know uh we've looked at it with mri and the muscles are being like broken down and regenerated from the electric shock yeah yeah we've got cheating um so you've got have you got a six-pack i suppose it's defined to some extent you're gonna have to show us <laughs> yeah. with your permission of course because yeah. we don't force people to undress on this show yeah 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 i mean i don't know like yeah you've got yeah yeah i won't show mine not right now i've been in oh, wait, for I, I showed you mine yeah but it's it's I, I, you've, it's you've been doing this for three years it's fine yeah I'm new. I've, I'm going to work my way up with the penis shock thing and then I'll I mean, but can, you, can you imagine being in a conversation and everyone else knows their erection, the nighttime erections, and you don't? Like, can you imagine the embarrassment you'd feel? No. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> no one I know knows how long they're erect I know, for I'm, a I'm, play- <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. I'm, play- I, I'm playing because it's like, it's, uh, of course, it's a novel idea. Nobody measures their erection, so it's not part of a social norm. But you can imagine the humor of you finding someone having a, ca- a casual conversation of like, yeah, like I had a really great night sleep last night, new peak record on erection duration and, and direction. <laughs> like, and if it, this therapy can help people get their erections back and bring their sex life back, then that's an amazing thing. If you love the Diver CEO brand and you watch this channel, please do me a huge favor become part of the 15% of the viewers on this channel that have hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously. And the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests.